When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Listen, I need to do this. I'm at the door. We don't hang up. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. What was that? A memory? Sometimes she 
just smiles for no reason. <laughs> I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. It appears cravings aren't just a wives' tale. What was that? belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay. Ah, <sighs> I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? for my dreams, what the hell does it mean? <sighs> Damn. I have some digging around to do. Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard.
Delphi. Text to speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 mg fluke sodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? New text message from Serge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. This place feels different. Speech. Nancy Chang's Chinese cuisine. those items.
One, some kind of woman, woman. Somehow, somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two, other people, seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife? Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three, that song. Four, the noises. Five, misaligned chakras? Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. IC2118. Danny? Just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again?
Cha-ching. Delphi, text to speech. Dear Richard Breyer, you must immediately alert any current patients and cease administering therapy or prescriptions as of today. Any attempt to continue practicing will be considered fraud and subject to prosecution in court. Sincerely, Roger Bradley, American Psychiatric Institute. It's from my favorite book growing up, The Princess and the Frog. <laughs> my mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands <laughs> looking for my future husband. But it wasn't about boys. I fell in love with nature. The sort of spirits that bind us. If a gem or an herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul?
Wars, the sagebrush is now this. How does Malachite crack? It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just, just shatter like that? key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. Point. Oh, we're gonna need to talk about this. I don't understand. Is it Richard doing this? Or the house? I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how. I've taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. I still see it. I still see it. What is it about that tree? I feel it too.
Betty, why am I still seeing it? There's bubble wrap everywhere. Shouldn't you be at 30,000 feet right now? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Hello? You are. I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me. Get a hold of yourself, Cassie. Thank you. 
fucking with me. When have I ever fucked around with you? Sir, just actually you. In the flesh. It sounds like you can use a hand. I have literal fire to put out. Wait a minute, don't hang up. I'll call you back. showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer... Wait a moment. What's that? I, uh, I must be hearing things. I... I need more sleep. Hello? What's that? Who's, th who's there? Is something... Something burning? Felicia! No, 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 this... This is how it ends! Fucking house! It made Felicia burn her family alive? Why is it tormenting these poor people? I, I thought I was supposed to fix it! To stop it! What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand! I shouldn't... I shouldn't be here. This is all wrong. I gotta get out now. Hang on, Felicia. I'm coming. I'm gonna 
Goodbye, Rooster. Goodbye, sweet baby girl. I'm off to visit with a girlfriend. <laughs> What happened? It wasn't your fault. None of this was your fault. Why are you doing this? What the hell is the point of any of this? a spry old man handing her this locket. It was inscribed, Thy healing fingers hath my eternal gratitude. Imagine my shock when he turned and I saw it was Erwin, the town cripple, and there was no cane in sight. Who was that? And who was she talking about? 